everybody! So today I will be reading There's a Duck in My Closet, written by John Trent, PhD, ooh, and illustrated by Judy Love. Let's see why there's a duck in this closet. There used to be something that filled me with dread that made me pull covers up over my head. It's my closet, that place where I keep all my clothes, hung up on hangers with my shoes in neat rows. Scared of his closet. There's a duck in my closet right in front of my eyes. There are actually two ducks that live there, you see. Two ducks that come out when they think I'm asleep. These ducks, they don't bite me or tickle my knees. They just snuggle up by me and Oscar, my sheep. But how did they get there, you might want to know. They were let in by pandas who sleep by my toes. You see, in my closet, there are two pandas, too. Two black and white fur balls, just like in the zoo. They're both very nice and they're warm as can be, but sometimes they tickle my feet when they sneeze. Two snuggling ducks and two pandas that sneeze. They're perfect to have, so at night I don't freeze. But who snuck them past mother and our lazy dog, Fred? It's those bunnies who always end up on my bed. Look, there's bunnies too. Two bunnies, white as a new Christmas snow. They sit on my stomach, which makes quite a show. They're not heavy enough to push out all the air. It's just for some reason they think I'm a chair. So now when it's late and I'm all fast asleep, I curl up with ducks, pandas, bunnies, and sheep. Is my closet now empty? Is the picture complete? Not without those two kitties, so soft and so sweet. Two kitties who love to sleep on my bed, who purr in my ears and curl up by my head. And if that's not enough, they say anything goes and let two little puppies lick me on the nose. He's got lots of animals in his bed. I don't know if I'd be able to sleep with all those animals in my bed. Do you think you would? Enough, you might say, and I think you'd be right. After all, all those animals make quite a sight. But there's still one more friend, and we all really love her. It's a pony named Gert, who must think she's my mother. She stays up all night to guard me and the others, and she's always right there if I kick off my covers. I'll admit it, it's true. I won't fuss or fight. I used to be scared of my closet at night. But with ducks, pandas, rabbits, cats, dogs, and a horse, bedtime isn't something mom and dad have to force. I put on my plaid jammies and brush all my teeth. I comb out my hair and put soap on my cheeks. Say, lay me down prayers and hug Oscar my sheep. Then wait for my friends to come out when I sleep. But there is just one thing that I wish wouldn't be, something I wish didn't happen to me. Each morning, the first thing I happen to see is how messy my hair is from ducks sleeping with me. And that is the end. And that was There's a Duck in My Closet, written by John Trent, Ph.D., and illustrated by Judy Love. I really like this book because there's a foreword actually in the beginning that talks about um, reading this book if your kids are scared of their closet. And it's a way to help them cope with that fear. Um, what I like to think, I like to think that 
sometimes those animals are real and they're all in your bed, but sometimes they're your stuffed animals that keep you safe at night. I used to sleep with a stuffed animal too. Miss Young used to have a pig. It was a stuffed pig that I slept with and he kept me safe when I was little. So I hope you liked this book and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.